Hello, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. This week we're trying to prove that there exists an x in our domain, which is I've called a, such that f of x equals x, and f is a continuous function, an arbitrary continuous function that maps uh, the unit interval to the unit interval. So one thing that you might be looking for if you kind of draw out a few arbitrary functions and kind of imagine uh, the unit interval on, on two axes is, is the intermediate value theorem. So um, that states that if, uh, if you choose any point in your image that there exists some point in your pre-image that such that f of this equals that. Uh, that's very vague terminology, but I hope that makes sense. And I'll, I'll dive into it more once I get to solving this proof. So you might apply that theorem directly here to just f of x, but that will just give you an empty statement. And, uh, and you won't really be able to say anything about the existence of, su of such an x. And what we want to do is kind of sandwich a known value. And right now we have nothing to sandwich because it's, these two are both the same. And we have no known value. So let's just look for a known value. And that's going to be 0. Because if we just set, um, so we're going to like find a new function, be a little clever. Uh, so call that function g of x and set that equal to f of x minus x. And that's much, much more um, solvable because now we have a more concrete thing that we're looking for, being we want to show that there exists some x in this unit interval such that g of x is equal to 0. So. Let's just get a quick sketch down to see kind of the, a rough outline of g of x. So I've drawn g of x on, on a going in positive and negative, just because I've done this before, obviously. So um, when Let's, let's find g of 0 first. So if when x is 0, if we have, um, if, if when x is 0, if f of x is also equal to 0, our job is done. We found g of x equal to 0. But if it's anything other than 0, remember f of x can be from 0 to 1. If it's anything other than 0, uh, g of g of 0 is going to be what, uh, negative or positive, yes. The g of 0 is going to be positive because, because we're going to be taking some number on the unit interval, minus 0. So I'll put g of 0's value somewhere here. Uh, note that g of 0 is going to be here, or somewhere along this line. But once we do g of 1, it, it won't be on that line, but I'm still going to put the the value on the line. So for x equals 1, if again, if f of x equals 1, our job is done. Uh, however, if f of x does not equal 1, um, remember it can be between 0 and 1. So we're going to be subtracting something less than 1 uh, and then minus 1, which is going to be negative. And again, that point is going to be somewhere around here. And so right off the bat, since g is a continuous function, uh, the com compositing of two continuous functions, um, I, it would be impossible to draw a line that doesn't go through 0. So that's the intuitive part of, of, um, of the intermediate value theorem. But we're just going to go a little bit more in depth into it. 
So we see that g of x goes from 0, 1 to ne 0, 1 to negative 1, 1. And um, of course, because this and the, the, these two sets are the same, those two intervals, uh, this is a compositing of these two. And so 0 is between uh, negative 1 and 1. So since g is continuous, there's going to be a map going to uh, from there's there's going to exist a map from some x in here to zero make and you just choose whatever x that may be since this is a an abstract uh, equation we can just say let x be an x such that g of x equals zero and then you're done but it's it's helpful to write out the kind of more concrete wordy proof rather than just having a, a picture here. Um, so this, yeah, thank you for watching this advanced knowledge problem, um, problem of the week. This is a calculus one concept um, applied uh, to a more general notion that you might see in, in something you might see in analysis. But if you're interested in the subject, definitely check out our website in this link and you can peruse our calculus books or um, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or check out more advanced knowledge problems of the week with these links here. Uh, of course if you're on mobile there's going to be a card popping up in the corner that you can click on for all these links and thank you for watching and have a good day.